Hey guys, how you doing today? This is Gilbert with Interactive Utopia and today I want to talk to you about the Page Insights API from Facebook, uh, which is part of their Graph API. Uh, first of all, I'm Gilbert with Interactive Utopia. I'm the main developer for this project, Social Utopia, uh, a project where basically you can go, you can post uh, messages to your different social networks, uh, read messages, uh, check your insights, uh, schedule posts for the future. So, you know, if you got a uh, multiple uh, accounts that you gotta, you know, maybe schedule posts for the whole month, you can do that and it's all for free. So if you need it, use it and just let me know how that works. Uh, any bugs or anything like that, let me know and I'll get on it to get everything working to 110%. But let's get started. So first of all, um, there, Facebook Graph API documentation does have a specific page for page insights. Uh, basically, they give you all the information that you need to know and how to use them, uh, all the different metrics that you can collect. And uh, and yeah, you know, so it makes it fairly simple. Sometimes it's a little hard to understand what you need to put where. So that's where I come in. I'll just try to help you out and guide you a little bit so that it's a easier adventure for you. Okay. First of all, you need to have your token already authorized so you should have already a way from to log into facebook and then retrieving that authorization token if you haven't make sure you to do that before this there's different tutorials on how to do it and if you need any help just send me a comment or a message and i'll be more than happy to help you out but that being said you can go again to this page the documentation page and they have um you know the sample request for my project, I use the PHP SDK. However, they have JavaScript, they have for Android, they have iOS, and of course they have the API Explorer, which basically just lets you uh, try things out and see what you get back. So let's go really quick uh, over the code that they're providing us. Basically, this is a call to the Facebook API using the PHP SDK. The first thing we're gonna do is to try and make a request to Facebook. If not, then you're gonna get an error. We're gonna catch it and we're gonna um, display it, you know, so that we know what needs to be resolved. And of course, at the bottom, we're just, you know, storing the response. So what does it mean? The, we're trying to make the connection using the Facebook API. We're making a get request, not a post. We're getting, we're doing a get request to get information. And you can either for the object ID, you can either provide, um, you know, like an object, for like an image or a video or a post, or in my case, I am using the page uh, ID. That way I'm retrieving the insight for that particular page. Um, you know, of course, insights, that's kind of what we're going for. And metric. So metric, you got to replace this for the metrics that you're going to be wanting to look for. On the right, on the right side, you, there's different um, categories for the metrics. So, you know, whatever you're looking for, you just scroll down to it, find it, and uh, then, you know, just request it. And I'll show you in a minute how it, that looks. And of course, then you, you gotta provide your access token, make sure that it, you're authorized to um, perform this request and, you know, that you're uh, like an administrator or something like that on the page. Um, so that's basically about it. And then once, you know, you get the answer, then you just store it at, in a variable. So, uh, one going back one step backwards in order for all of this to work when you're logging in you need to make sure that your permissions are said correctly one of the main things that everybody has problems with is you know maybe they already have a, a project set up and they're trying just to add this code to get some insights and it's not working but why is it not working maybe it's because they just haven't added the permissions if you go to your uh, API page, Facebook API page, you can request uh, the permissions that you're gonna be needing. And in this case, you're gonna need read insights and pages read engagement. Once you're authorized from Facebook to use them, then you can add them onto your code and they should be working no problem. Uh, and usually to request them, you know, you just go to your API page, go to permissions, you know, look for the ones you're looking for, you, you know, you click request, you got to add an explanation on how you're going to use them. And usually, you know, a couple of days, they should get back to you. So it's a pretty straightforward process. Uh, they just want to make sure, you know, no spammers are using it. Uh, this is for a single metric, you know, request. This code is 
basically the same thing is just for different metrics the only thing that changes you know it's metric equals on the address um metric equals and then metric one metric two whatever how many metrics you wanna you wanna say you know you can do on, on, well not unlimited but all the ones that they have available for you so let's take a look at the me uh, metrics that are available this is just an explanation on you know how to read them. For example, you know some metrics are unique. Some metrics uh, are you know for users that are logged in. Some are logged out. For example, in this case, you know if you go to the page contact uh, category, you can see how many page how many people have seen your um, page tabs, uh, you know that that are logged in and that are unique. So you see they're login and unique. So it's a combination of these keywords that are, it's gonna explain to you kinda, um, you know, what each metric is gonna do. And of course they have a description, so it makes it way easier for you. That way you can just see, you know, if it's what you're looking for. And then the values for period, that just means, you know, can you get information on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis. Uh, so they, they tell you exactly what you can call for. When you get an answer back from this this um, uh, request, it might tell you like, oh, you know, these are the tab, you know, show you the tab ties. And then, you know, you can go refer them to this and see exactly, you know, see which tab exactly it is. Um, and, it, you know, you can just scroll down, you know, page um, CTA clicks. Uh, you know, if you go to page engagement, it'll show you those metrics. Uh, trying to get metrics for a post, uh, they're here as well. Um, you know, maybe you want to see, look at so, how many people has been your viewing your page on the last, I don't know, 28 days. You can get all that information. It makes it really simple. Okay. So once you get the metrics that you want to go for and, you know, the period that you want to go for, beware, you can only do one period, different metrics, one period. But if you want to do different calls, you can always do that uh, and then, you know, do a different period for each call but uh okay so hopefully this helps review really quickly the documentation uh most important thing that you need sample code get your sdk pick the metrics that you want to um that you want to retrieve just put them maybe on a word document or a notepad or something like that and then you can go and start uh coding okay so let's go to visual studio code which is basically where we're going to be doing the coding for uh this project I already have it opened up in here. Um, it is a little different than what you saw on the uh, sample code. Basically, in this, I did build an object. Uh, you know, it's just to make it a little bit more organized. But if you can see here, I have my fun function get insights out of my Facebook Insights API class. And um, in there, the first thing that I do, I create a variable that's going to store all of the metrics. Um, you cannot have any spaces in between. I just did this to organize it a little bit better. So if you notice, we have the metric comma to separate it from the rest of them. And then I close it. And then basically I'm just uh, adding more uh, strings to it without adding any spaces in between. Okay, you can also just do one very long string uh, and that would work as well. Again, I just like to organize it a little nicer. Uh, the second thing you got to store in a variable is, you know, what period are you going to look for? Day, week, days 28. Uh, for them, you know, they're, some work on some metrics, some, you know, don't work on others. Again, look at the documentation and see which ones are going to be working for you and for what you're trying to get. And this is where we have the actual call for the or um, to retrieve the information if you remember we have the try statement and then the catch statements to get the errors and then basically in here we're storing the response and i'm returning it um since we're just you know I'm, I'm making the call from outside of the object i just call this function and return the um the response from from facebook Okay, so how do we make that response? As I mentioned, you gotta give them the, the selected Facebook page or object ID, you know, post ID, video ID, uh, you know, whatever you wanna get insights for. After that, you wanna, you know, tell 
the request what insights you're going to be requesting, which we had set up previously. And lastly, you know, or, or, you know, after you want to give them the period, which we had already previously set up. And lastly, now uh, you want to provide them with the authorization token so that uh, they know that you are authorized to retrieve that content. So that's, you know, the bulk of it for me, you know, the, for, for my, um, for my object, um, you know, now we're going down to the actual, you know, code, uh, if, if you want to call it that way. First thing I want to do is make a new instance of my Facebook insights API object, which I'm making in here. Uh, the second thing that I want to do, you know, call the my uh, my api use the function get insights to retrieve the information and store that information that was returned um, into the facebook insights results variable uh, from there on it's pretty straightforward you're going to be getting a bunch of um, information and you just need to um, make it look nice if you want to call it that way uh, for for your application. So you just want to you know take it out of the variable and just print it out. So that's basically what what this is doing. It's just looping through the results, making sure the results it's an actual object because uh, they also give you some other information that it's not really necessary for my purposes. Um, but yeah, so you you want to look make sure it's an object. If it's an object, then you want to go ahead, like for example, here I'm printing the title, I'm, I'm, I'm printing the description of that um, of that metric, and then I have to loop through the results of that um, insight to get the actual values from the metric. And I'll show you the content in a second, that way you can kind of see how that works. Uh, if in here, if it's a number, uh, like for example, it's going to be a value for a metric, like, like how many likes or how many people, then I'm just going to print the value of the number. However, sometimes, for example, when you're asking to see how many people have seen my tabs, it'll return a JSON object that's going to have each tab and how many users per tab it's in there. So if it's not a number, then you, ha you have to assume it's a JSON. And basically what I do is I decode it. Then I just match the, you know, for in this area scenario, matching the, the tab names to the actual name that I want to show. And then I'm just printing it out. Um, and basically that's about it. Um, in here, I'm, so this is not supposed to be here. There we go. So result basically means, um, Sorry, I'm just organizing. Oh, this was not supposed to be here. So in here, I'm storing result. Uh, basically, it's just the date. I just didn't show it. Uh, you know, I don't like showing it, but I wanted to show you. So let's go over to the actual page. Let's see what this is going to show. So if you go to the insights, this is what we're going to be getting. I already have it inside of my application on Social Utopia, so it's not just an empty page. But as you can see, you know, it gives us the title, it gives us the description, and then it gives us the value as, as we were requesting. Um, I'll show you, for example, if we were to provide the date, refresh this, go to insights, then you can see it's gonna be providing us the date um, or what is going on all right so that's pretty much about it uh you know it, it's a simple way of getting insights if uh ho hopefully this helps you out if you have any questions feel free to let me know uh leave me a message uh you know send me a comment uh if you like the video make sure to subscribe to the channel and uh yeah i'll see you on the next one don't forget Social Utopia, it's at social.interactiveutopia.com, and uh, hopefully it helps you out. All right, have a really good day.